The discussion on coronavirus has gone far past the realm of sanity. It has been that way for, well, debatably a whole year and a half. Uh, you could go back all the way to two weeks to slow the spread and see this sort of absurdity that was going permeating throughout all of coronavirus discussion basically on both sides. Though I will argue with aplomb that the right wing was generally more correct in both instances, both when the left was downplaying the virus and when it was upplaying it to the most absurd degree, but they have not yet reached the apex of how much they are going to upplay COVID because there has been a new development just recently in coronavirus discussion, and this, I think, begins with the New York governor. No, not Cuomo. He's already been kicked out. The new governor, who name I can't remember at all because she's basically unimportant. Well, but she said something which I think is fairly indicative of where the coronavirus discussion is going, and this happened at a megachurch where she was speaking and said a lot of heresy and other nonsense, but what I found most interesting myself happened to be this particular line where she said, the virus. And without at first making reference to COVID, she's just speaking about the vaccine, the virus, without making reference to COVID at all, uh, along with saying that people should be her apostles about the vaccine, uh, just some absurdities that she's been saying. This, however, is very informative. Saying that it is the virus instead of this virus or a virus is somewhat indicative of how you're seeing coronavirus itself. Because rather than being a virus among many, or a virus which exists along with all the other viruses, instead, a virus is the, uh, coronavirus is the singular virus which exists all on its lonesome. And this is something which has permeated throughout much of the discussion of coronavirus. Just look to say, Oh, I don't know, some of our governors and, and some people who are governing states, both here and in Canada, where you will see utter obsession with coronavirus to the point where they are now openly saying that any disease which happens, if you get a headache, if you get any sort of cold symptoms, we're just going to treat that as coronavirus rather than actually looking into it. If individuals choose to not get tested for COVID but are home with an illness, um, they're now counted in the list as uh, being part of that outbreak. And so it's less dependent on needing a test to be a part of identifying where there is an issue. And this goes beyond just say, uh, saying that coronavirus is the cause of all disease with a dearth of evidence. It even goes to when there's a contradiction of an evidence, which you can see very clearly in a Daily Mail article, which came out just in the past few days, talking about how people have dastardly COVID symptoms while testing negative for coronavirus. And these people go on for such a long time talking about how, well, these people have all of these symptoms and problems and this must be due to the coronavirus, but they don't get a positive test. They've taken myriad tests and they just keep coming back as negative. They even get a doctor to say, well, PCR tests have a above average rate of false negatives, which is just silly. They have gone past the point where they're just simply assuming that is coronavirus without any evidence whatsoever, and have gotten to the point where they're saying it is coronavirus while there is active evidence to suggest the opposite. They want to replace every virus that has ever existed, which includes every respiratory illness and lots of other illnesses which have similar symptoms that aren't necessarily respiratory viruses, with just the one virus, that being COVID. Everything must be the fault of COVID, and this is the theory which preempts the facts. And if you were paying attention in my last video and you saw that, this is the same concept. They are preempting the fact of the matter, whether someone has COVID or not, with the theory that COVID-19 must be the cause of any illness whatsoever. And this goes beyond just illnesses themselves and goes forward into public policy more broadly. They want every single aspect of public policy to be entirely dictated by their theories 
about how COVID-19 is functioning at that particular moment. You can see this with regard to booster shots, which are being pushed with a, frankly, a dearth of evidence to their usefulness, efficacy, or uh, safety at all. I mean, they've been pushing down the standards of both efficacy and safety as time has gone on. The tens of thousands of VAERS reports and the fact that they've gone from this vaccine prevents infection from coronavirus to it at least kind of prevents hospitalizations a little bit should show that quite clearly. And this is the fact of the matter. They are going to try to blame every single thing on coronavirus. Every single bad thing. And this is something which has been happening for quite a while. You can see this in how they talk about, say, the economic recession, which has happened in the aftermath of the government lockdowns. They're not called government lockdown recessions. They're called COVID recessions. And even the lockdowns themselves are not called lo government lockdowns, but instead COVID lockdowns, as though COVID, the virus, was the cause of the lockdowns to begin with, when in reality uh, is that the governments were doing it themselves, they were overreacting to it themselves, they were the ones who were doing something as opposed to not doing anything at all, simply because they wanted to look good. It is the government doing these things, and the government bears sole responsibility for the effects, and yet people will continue to exist that that the recession had nothing to do with the government and had everything to do with COVID alone. There are even people who will go so far as to say that the recession was due to capitalism and free marketism, despite the fact that it was all due to government intervention, which is quite literally the opposite of both of those concepts. That is what they are doing. Because remember, the theory preempts the facts in leftism and in statism more broadly, the theory preempts the facts. So no matter what the fact pattern is, no matter who is actually at fault, the boogeyman of COVID must be the problem because the theory has already decided through a priori reasoning that it must be the problem. If someone is sick, with some sort of uh, respiratory illness, then it must be COVID because COVID, through our theories, is the only th is respiratory illness which exists at all. This is part of why there is such a panic about testing. I had COVID recently, but the only reason I know I had COVID recently is not because I got a test myself. I never needed one because it wasn't that bad. It never got that bad, then I felt I needed to get a test anyway. It's just that everyone around me who also got the same illness were testing themselves. That's why I know that I got coronavirus as well, because to assume otherwise would simply be silly. That is a very common phenomenon, however. People are testing for coronavirus even when they don't have symptoms. I've already talked about Governor Greg Abbott testing positive for coronavirus despite having an asymptomatic case. And that is something which has happened far too often for it to really be reasonable, even in the slightest. I mean, how are you testing positive for a virus that you are showing literally no symptoms for, and have no reason to be testing for, even if you have come into contact with someone who has been sick. Because the fact of the matter is, if you aren't sick, you aren't sick. So even if you do test positive, it's such a minuscule problem that I don't care. And that's the major problem with how we're dealing with coronavirus in general. We are obsessed with knowing exactly who has coronavirus at any given time, even if they don't get sick at all. And that is because we have this thing in our head, which has been put there much by the left, that COVID-19 is this incredibly dangerous disease. And even if you don't have symptoms yourself, and many people don't, that you must test for it to make sure that you aren't spreading it to other people, despite the fact that asymptomatic spread was never a scientifically backed theory to begin with. And uh, many of the claims of which have been walked back as time goes, uh, goes on, including by the lie master himself, Dr. Fauci. All of these things, whether it be the lockdowns, whether it be uh, what I just said just barely with uh, regard to asymptomatic spread, whether it be the idea that every respiratory illness is now COVID. 
All of these things are lies, but remember, and this is something to take completely in mind, and explains a lot of the left, the theory preempts the facts. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys off. If you enjoyed that video, do in fact subscribe down below and check me out on other platforms. I'm on BitChute, I'm on Brideon, I'm on Odyssey, and I'm on Rumble. I'm also on Gab. And mine's if you want to check out some text posts or just get some notifications for where these video goes goes up whenever they do. On top of that, check out breakingonthedaily.lolas.com where you can check out that community. I'm Kel Kidman. This has been Breaking on the Daily, and I'm out.